What is going on everybody? Today we have a very special video. As we all know, or I guess a lot of us in the running sneaker community know, the Nova Blast is always an exciting model to release. The Nova Blast 4 was one of my favorite daily trainers kind of of 2024 because that's when I got the shoe but technically it released in December of 2023 but the A6 Nova Blast 5 just released on December 1st in 2024 so really curious how these stack up against last year's model and if they made any improvements so let's get right into it. So if you weren't familiar the Nova Blast series is kind of ASICs everyday daily trainer type shoe and you can basically do any type of run in it. I believe it is their more peppy version of a daily trainer, so a little bit faster of a daily trainer. I think that their Cumulus model is more of the chill, easy, everyday type daily trainer and this one is kind of the faster or a little bit more streamlined daily trainer, which I believe is why it is bit so popular in the running community. So let's get right into it. So as you guys saw, I have ran in the Nova Blast 4. I have not run in the Nova Blast 3. So to give you guys a little bit of context, I am doing a first run review. So this is more like my first impressions of the shoe. I only ran five miles in the shoe for my first run, and I'm here to kind of give you guys my first impressions. So again, this is just my first impressions. This is not how the shoe performs in any way at all. It's just kind of like a an initial try on and just to see how the vibes are with the shoe. Starting out with the outsole, as always, the Nova Blast 5 has a pretty traditional looking A6 rubber outsole. They do like to put this pattern on a lot of their shoes. Kind of looks like the Super Blast 2 and also reminiscent of the Nova Blast 4, so nothing new here. When I was running, I was running on the road in dry weather conditions and I felt that the traction was very good on the outsole and I would hope so for a brand new shoe. So I don't think that this is ASICS grip necessarily. Let me double check. It doesn't say ASICS grip on the outsole, but I could be totally wrong on the website if it does have ASICS grip, but I did feel that it held the concrete or asphalt very well while I was running as you would expect in dry weather conditions, but I would not be able to speak on if the outsole performs well in snowy or wet conditions as I literally just ran one time in these and I ran in dry weather conditions. So, so far the outsole is good to go from my point of view, especially if you run in dry weather conditions. So yeah, good job ASICs, at least for the people that run in those conditions. Moving on to the cushion setup of the Nova Blast 5. This was the biggest change that they made from the Nova Blast 4 to the Nova Blast 5. In last year's model, they had an FF Blast Eco Plus midsole which i believe is just kind of an eva but a6 eva and this year they have ff blast max which i think they debuted in the a6 glide ride max which i personally did not run in so i was very excited to run in this new foam with the nova blast 5 and let me just say compared to the nova blast 4 i feel like in the first run it was already super different than the than the Nova Blast 4. In the Nova Blast 4, I felt like I was lower to the ground. I felt like there was a little bit less cushion or less impact protection, but it did feel a little bit faster than the Nova Blast 5. When I was running in the Nova Blast 5, my five mile run this morning, I did run at marathon pace and a little bit slower than marathon pace and a little bit faster than marathon pace, plus or minus one minute. And I did feel that it felt a little bit sluggish from the cushion point of view. And that's not a total bad thing, but I do feel that it did change from last year's model where as I felt like in the Nova Blast 4, it felt like I was always trying to run a little bit faster than I would like to just because I felt that the setup was kind of rolling me or pushing me forward. Not in the sense of it being super bouncy, but it just felt pretty responsive in the sense of a firm setup and a little bit lower to the ground. And I felt that it was just easier to run a little bit faster in the Nova Blast 4. This is also just my first run in the Nova Blast 5. So I do know that I can and will break in the shoe and the cushion setup so this opinion could change. But overall the ride was very comfortable. I would say that it's a little bit more squishy and a little bit softer than last year's model so take that with a grain of salt. I'm not saying that you can't run fast in these but you might feel like it is a very different experience than the Nova Blast 4. Moving on to the upper, first of all, I do think that these run true to size. I have a slightly wider than average foot and I went true to size in a size 12 in my Nova Blast 4s. I know this isn't really a comparison video to that. I'll make a separate video comparing the Nova Blast 5 to the Nova Blast 4, but 
just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to compare it back to that model if you guys have that model. Um, but the Nova Blast 4, I did go half a size down and that shoe fit me really well with a half size down. This shoe I went true to size at a size 12 and I still think that it fit very well. I do have a little bit more room in the toe box than I did in the Nova Blast 4, but that's because I went a half a size up. So I would say go true to size if uh, you like a snug fit, maybe you could get away with half a size down, but I do feel like with my wider than average foot, the true to size in this model still felt like pretty snug in the forefoot in the sense of width. In the sense of length and volume, I felt like it was totally fine, but width wise, I'm glad that I went with a size 12. Maybe if I went down to a size 11 and a half, I wouldn't be able to tie the shoes as tight, or I'm not sure if there would be any chafing on my pinky toe or a little bit of blistering because it does feel a little bit more narrow. That's just my opinion. Everyone's foot shape is different, but I would say overall, go true to size. As for the upper material and the heel lockdown and just the fit in general, the fit was very good. I did have a little bit of extra room in the forefoot, which I always like in my running shoes because when you're going on those long runs and you're, when you're putting in the miles, your feet tend to swell up and you don't want to feel like your shoes are too small at any point. So I think true to size was good. And as for heel lockdown, Heel Lockdown was perfect. Like, I think it was better than the Nova Blast 4 as well as the Asics Super Blast 2, which are two of my favorite Asics shoes that I currently own. Um, and I think that the Nova Blast 5 is probably the best out of all of them for the Heel Lockdown. Keep in mind, I am doing a runner's loop, so take that with what you will. As for the upper materials and the tongue, the tongue is gusseted. Honestly, not the biggest fan of the tongue. I think that the fours was a little bit better and they are very similar, which is weird to say that I like the fours better, but I don't know, just the loops that they have on the tongue and how I guess it's lace, it just feels a little bit awkward. It's kind of nitpicky of me. It's not a big deal. Once you get your laces tied, it's not gonna be really in your way, but I would just say that it, I don't know. I just like the way that the four kind of sits on my foot better, but overall didn't cause any discomfort. I think just the tongue caused problems when I was trying to lace up the shoe, but it's a very small, minute detail that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. So the tongue is very thin, it is gusseted, and uh, yeah, other than that, no problems with the tongue. As for the upper, it is a very soft material. Again, not super breathable, so it's kind of like last year's model, the fours, where it did get a little bit hot in my five mile run, even though five miles is a pretty short distance. And also it was kind of cold outside, so I don't know how my foot actually got super hot. So I don't think the ventilation of this shoe is gonna be super good, but then again, this is just the first run review, so hopefully maybe I break in the upper and it starts getting more breathable, but kind of doubt it. And then last but not least, just the overall fit and the materials, other than the ventilation being a little bit poor, I felt that the materials were totally fine, very padded, very cushioned, and honestly, it fit, fit pretty well. No break in time really necessary for the upper. Um, and overall, I think it's just kind of like an average normal upper that doesn't cause any problems, which is kind of all you can ask for in a daily trainer. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up my first impressions of the Nova Blast 5. Again, these are not my final thoughts on the shoe. This is not my full review of the shoe. I will be putting in more miles on this shoe before I release that video. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I know I'm talking a little bit fast, but I'm kind of in the groove of things. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the full review. And I do have a lot of comparison videos that I have to post of you know previous shoes. So subscribe if you are interested in that or you know thank you if you are already subscribed and you continue watching my videos really appreciate the support and i will catch you guys in the next one peace